Hello everyone, it's Emily here and I am back with another Cornwall Wildlife Trust nature trail. This time I am at the beautiful Pendarvis Wood Nature Reserve. Now Pendarvis was actually an important 18th century country house and it also replaced residences that date back to the 16th century in this area and the wood itself and a beautiful surrounding lake was actually planted in the 19th century. And during World War II, this area was actually used as an American base. And then after this, the mansion was demolished and the estate was basically left to the wild. So the habitats here are a mixture of broad-leaved woodland and there's some streams and of course there's the lake with some marshy areas that surround the lake as well. And of course, lots of species are found and protected here. There are lots of butterflies that are often seen in this reserve, such as the brimstone butterfly. And at this time of year, the woodland becomes carpeted with bluebells and so many other flowers as well. So I think on this trail, I'm probably gonna be talking about quite a few varieties of flowers that I find along the way. <laughs> And if you love bird watching, you should definitely come here to look for the spotted flycatcher, which is a very common summer visitor to this reserve as well. So yes, I'm going to go along this trail and let's see what we can find along the way today. So I'm just at the entrance of the reserve and I've already found lots of lesser celandine all along the woodland floor. Now this is a really pretty low growing perennial flower and perennial basically means that it can live for a number of years blooming in spring and summer and dying back again in autumn. And a cool fact about this pretty little flower is that it actually turns a creamy white colour with age. And we've got some red campion here. You'll often see this flower along the hedgerows in spring and summer. It has really hairy stems. <laughs> so I noticed all these little purple blobs along the woodland and realised that they are lots of dog violets. These are really pretty little flowers. They don't actually have a scent, which is one way that you can identify them, unlike the sweet violet, for example. And another cool fact is that the silver-washed fritillary butterfly absolutely love to lay their eggs on these. There are so many hedgerows around this reserve. Again, another very important habitat. I mean, not only do they provide shelter for many different insects and birds, they provide areas for flowering plants, which is of course vital for pollination, but they also act as barriers against pollutions entering the waterways, helping to stop different pollutants and sediments. So yeah, really important habitats. So there's so many different trees around here. This looks like a lovely yew tree, characterised for these flattened pine needles here. And yew trees can actually live for thousands of years. They are magnificent trees. Now this looks like a little larch pine cone. A really dainty, pretty pine cone, characterised for its frilly edges and the scales kind of peel over. So there are just so many bluebells around this reserve, I just have to talk about them. A member of the lily family, they are a beautiful flower and they are protected under the Wildlife and Countryside Act 1981. And it actually takes several years for a bluebell seed to grow into a bulb and subsequently flower. 
and they are vitally important for the ecosystem. Ants actually help spread bluebell seeds and bees absolutely adore bluebell nectar and sometimes if they can't quite reach inside they will bite a little hole in the top of the flower to steal the nectar. Bluebells also have some really interesting history to them. So there's actually a sticky gum-like substance on the roots of a bluebell and this used to be used a long time ago to stick feathers to arrowheads or to bind books. So this looks like the silky wall feather moss. A very silky feeling moss with that feather like appearance. There are just so many different types of moss so sometimes they can be quite tricky to tell apart but yes this one can be quite distinguishable because of its silky texture when it's dried up and again the feather like look of it. And we've got a bit of fungi here. This looks like the turkey tail named for its resemblance to a turkey tail. <laughs> They can come in different colours, usually this brown and grey colour, but sometimes they can also come in green as well. There are lots of wood lice on this old tree stump. Now one thing you might not know about wood lice is that they are not actually insects. They are in fact terrestrial crustaceans. That's it from me today guys, I hope you enjoyed this Reserve Nature Trail and as usual there'll be many more nature trails to come so stay tuned but for now keep safe and enjoy your wild walks and I will see you all again soon. Bye!